Alright, if you're curious about the process to get to this point, at the end of the video there's actually going to be a blooper section. I'll go ahead and show you that there. We're going. Hey everybody, Ron from Campfire Grub, and this week we're down here in the Florida Keys, uh, Duck Key to be more specific, and I'm out here paddle boarding with my buddy Josh and my buddy Lawson. Uh, Kevin, I don't know, a hammock somewhere in Mangrove, don't know where he is. So we actually found a shallow spot here in the uh, ocean, and we're going to go ahead and cook up something that Josh gave us. It's called um, S'mores Cookies, and uh, I don't know anything about him, where he got them from, he doesn't even know, we don't even know how we're supposed to cook them, but allegedly, basically, you just add water into a bag and it gets really hot and it bakes cookies. So let's see how they turn out. <laughs> So as we were attempting to film, Lawson's kayak floated away. So that's just some of the struggles of kayaking and cooking. So here's our product right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the instructions and see how we're supposed to make this. So upon analyzing the instructions, um, one of the instructions here actually says, seal pouch quickly, hot steam can cause severe burns. Keep away from steam vent during heating um this boat blow up paddle board probably isn't a good place to set it on and neither is that paddle board but actually thanks to lawson over here we actually have this harbor freight knockoff pelican box so if we melt that worst comes to worst we're only out 30 bucks so we opened up our bag here so let's go ahead and see what we have on the inside so we have two pouches that are silver in color and if we look at them, they're actually marked s'mores cookies. So I'm going to assume these packages are actually the cookies. So we're going to set those aside. Then also inside of the bag, we have this heating element. So, and it looks like we have to open it up. Just open it up, place it in the pouch, and add some liquid and seal the bag quickly. So the first step is, is we're going to go ahead and open this pouch back up again and we're going to go ahead and drop our s'mores cookies back in there. So now we have it here. Okay. We're going to go ahead and open up this and then we're going to go ahead and remove this heating element pouch and we're going to go ahead and we want to drop it right in between the two cookies. So we're going to go ahead and place that down in there and then all we want to do now is just add some water into the fill line and then seal up the bag quickly so we're just going to go ahead and take it and scoop up some water and it appears to be we have it up to the fill line so we're going to go ahead and seal that off and place it right on top of our harbor freight knockoff pelican bag so that way we don't accidentally burn one of our kayaks or paddle boards so it appears that we overfilled it possibly because it just shot a bunch of steam out of the bag all over the place. But uh, we're going to go ahead and see how it does. The bag seems to be expanding and the little steam port is actually working. So hopefully we just did not build a bomb on the boat. But worst comes to worst, we do have a paramedic on standby. So here we have it. It still seems to be steaming and it actually says that it takes three to five minutes to heat up, cook, I mean, bake. I mean, I'm not sure what this is that it's doing. All right, Josh, what's the assessment here? Oh, it's still blowing steam. Sure. Yeah, these are definitely baking. We don't know if seawater is like an accelerant or what, but the good news is we are not burning the Pelican box that we know of. So we're gonna give it about another minute and see how they taste. So actually, if I touch this s'mores cookie bag right here, I actually can feel the water inside boiling. Um, they've definitely cooked for a lot of the cooking time, and they're still super hot. So I'm just going to go ahead and the steam portholes, I'm just going to go ahead and drop it into the ocean, and hopefully it'll cool itself down, and then we can open it up. So let's go ahead and open it up and see how they are. That should have cooled it down some. trying to balance here. Hold on, let me hop off. It's actually still steaming and you can feel it boiling. This is actually extremely hot. I'm actually burning myself. But now that the bag's open, we should be able to get maximum water in there. 
This is actually making it hotter. I think that uh, dunking it in water is not the optimum thing to do because this little packet is actually now boiling, like power boiling the water. All right, so we're gonna figure out how to get this out and then we're gonna get back to you. Quick update, we figured out how to get the cookies out, but now the uh, item that inside that makes water boil won't stop boiling. And we don't wanna throw it in the ocean and we don't want it to burn our boat, so we're trying to figure out what to do now. So here is the cookies that are all sealed up in their pouch. So we're gonna go ahead and open them up and see what they look like. Yep. We're gonna go ahead and open these up. The pouch has nice little tear spots, so we just teared up the heating pouch. Would you look at that? The cookies are inside of another pouch. So here they are. Here's the s'mores cookies. They're all heated up. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up this package now, and then we're gonna do a taste test and see how they are. So uh, we realize that it's like stuck in there. So we're just gonna guess it's gonna have to just rip and tear and there we go. So Josh, go ahead and take the first sample and let's see how it tastes. What do you think? <laughs> Is it absolutely horrible? A little powdery. A little powdery, okay. Well, let me go ahead and give a taste here and see what it tastes like. Uh oh. Okay, that wasn't intended. So, here's a close up of it. Let's give it a taste. Things still making noise. We may not let it bake long ago. Um, did you get a better mixture on your side? I don't think it cooked long enough. Okay. But it has good flavor to it, though. Yeah. It has good potential. Thank you everybody for watching. So these are the s'mores. The package is still burning my hands. The cookies were okay. Really? This is an awesome gift if you have somebody that you have to get a gift for and you want them to get them really excited about cookies and then all the hard work involved with it. And then for the disappointment of the cookies are just alright. You could have just carried cookies instead of this giant bag. It's still burning. Thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to follow along on Instagram at, at Campfire Grub and subscribe to see many more videos about interesting things. All right, so this bag is still really super hot and I'm not trying to burn the paddle board. So Lawson's gonna come over here and I'm just gonna burn up his plastic boat. Yeah, it does, but I'm trying to see the fill line. Oh, is there one? I don't know. I don't want to rip open the green packet and light myself on fire. <laughs> oh, that's not scary. It's not like a powder. It's actually in like a little thing. Okay. Wait, Ron, aren't you going to get on the board? <laughs> yes. All right, so it's burning me. All right, so this is burning me. But I'm going to go ahead and hop up on here first. I think the cookies left some slime on there. I think what it is is I'm used to like kicking off the ground. 